Welcome to another edition of Coffee, Eggs and Inspiration. I'm going to the coronation of King Charles III. In this video, I'm going to take you through the experience. Let's go. Well, it's the Friday, the day before the coronation. I've just finished work. I'm walking through Covent Garden and I decided to stay in town uh, tonight because it might be quite difficult getting in because of uh, road and security restrictions tomorrow. So I'm going to stay in town. Rather a noisy and vibrant Covent Garden here tonight with street performers over here. Lots going on at the market. See lots of the uh, British flags, Union Jacks, hanging proudly. I'm uh, attending as one of the delegates of the New Zealand Prime Minister, uh, the Honourable Chris Hipkins, and he has a group of 10 of us, and it's a wonderful uh, group that includes the Māori uh, King and his wife, uh, the leader of the opposition of the New Zealand government uh, or the New Zealand parliament, uh, as well as very prominent sports people, for example, Richie McCaw, who captained the All Blacks for a long time, uh, as well as the, our Governor General. Uh, in the UK and, and many others uh, besides. Hopefully I'll be able to get uh, convince some of them to come on camera and say hello during the course of this. Anyway, we'll pick up at the hotel. Well, I've just checked into the uh, hotel, lovely hotel, and uh, laying my, um, my garments out uh, for tomorrow, I've got a uh, blue suit, white shirt, uh, a selection of ties, because I couldn't decide before I left, and actually a selection of shoes as well, some black and some tan, and I will be wearing a traditional Māori kotawai, which is this lovely uh, feather cloak down here, uh, which is, uh, uh, was, a, uh, was a gift um, from uh, the uh, London uh, Māori tribe, which is called Ngāti Rānana, in recognition of the award that I got. Uh, so I will honour them and honour the award uh, by wearing that uh, alongside uh, a beautiful uh, greenstone uh, Punamu um, necklace. Next step, need to go downstairs and get the ticket, all important tickets, as well as a briefing on the logistics tomorrow. So we just finished our uh, briefing. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Ben and Hayden. Uh, kia ora, kia ora. Uh, we've, uh, we've got the programme, show the programme there. Logistics, events, instructions, but we're all looking forward to it. The uh, the kind folks, Joe and uh, Gemma here from the New Zealand High Commission, have been amazing at uh, organising logistics and um, pickups and uh, drop-offs and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so it should be a, a fantastic day. Hopefully. It all goes to plan. Um, it is forecast for rain, so that's going to be tricky. We need to take some umbrellas and figure out um, where to uh, put them. So how are you feeling, Ben? Yeah, pretty excited and privileged to, to be joining you, Craig. We've got a few hours of sitting in the Abbey whilst we wait for everyone to come in. So we're going to, we're going to figure out what we're going to do for, what, three hours? What's the last we're going to take some crosswords or something like that. How about you, Hayden? You've come from uh, New Zealand? Yeah, come over from Wellington, so uh, it's traveled a long way to be here, but excited to be here. Uniforms ready to go, flags ready to go, and um, pretty keen to get underway. And you have a key role, right? What do you do? I'm the flag bearer for New Zealand, so I get to lead the Prime Minister and the Governor General in. How are you feeling about tomorrow? Uh, very excited. Yeah, I feel very well organised. The only member of our troop to bring umbrellas. Not only umbrellas, oh, not only one, but three, in fact. Yeah. Very thoughtful. <laughs> Very thoughtful. Um, yeah, no, they came in three packs. I know that Sarah will be doing her makeup. I think that dry will be a few. And what time is the hair and makeup uh, person arriving? 5 a.m. 5 a.m. How are you feeling about that? Really <laughs> sad. 
right. So this is Gemma from the New Zealand High Commission, one of the senior diplomats working here. Oh, God, no. Is that a fair description? No, no, no. no I'm What's your role? I'm a policy advisor. Policy advisor. Okay. I've been here a year now, yeah. um, but doing well. From New Zealand. From New Zealand. Obviously. Yes. And your your role in uh, all of this, Gemma's been amazing with logistics and uh, all this sort of stuff. What's your what's your sort of formal responsibility in the coronation? Oh, so we've kind of assigned different um, colleagues are looking after different people in the program. So I've been looking after this lovely bunch. So I think they're called the 10 Ordinary New Zealanders, but we're calling them Extraordinary New Zealanders. Um, but no, it's been fantastic. So these are sort of a mix of those that are based in the UK, like you, and then a few that have come over from New Zealand. So pretty amazing, remarkable group. Um, yeah, and a real pleasure working on it. Biggest challenge? Um, I mean, there's been a few. I think managing lots of programs, but um, I think as long as we get you there safely on the day, my job will be well done. Um, and the concert at the end will be kind of a big fun celebration. So that's the concert, not on the on the day of the coronation, but the day after at Windsor Castle. Yes. Coronation, of course, is in Westminster Abbey, which is in the middle of London, just opposite. Westminster, um, and I understand the logistics about where you can go and what gates you can use keep changing, is that right? I mean, a bit. We haven't had the information until quite late, but all the roads are closed, so it's kind of getting managing to get the vehicles through has been the biggest challenge. Yeah, but um, we're not there yet, so we need a touch point to pray that we get you there, but we're leaving very early, so fingers crossed. Well, let's hope so. And you did a, a walk down the mount today, I think. Yeah. How was that? Amazing. If you haven't done it, go and do it. Really cool. Um, Lots of people camping out, great vibes, sort of such a unique, special opportunity, so really cool. What, camping out? The public are camping out? Yeah, too. there's tents wow. lining the street. Is that right? Yeah. It's really cool. Wow, wow. It's lucky we're not sleeping in a tent. Thank you for your accommodation tonight. <laughs> Well, briefing's done, and I'm going to do a quick wardrobe check just to make sure I've got everything that I need uh, for tomorrow morning, and there's no surprises at the wrong time. Uh, and in the meantime, um, I'm going to go through my document. Here is the official invitation, uh, which is very nice. It's a um, embossed and, and rather robust uh, piece of card, uh, so I'll definitely get that framed. Um, but this is the ticket that we need to take um, tomorrow. And uh, two pieces of photographic ID, of course. Uh, I've got my passport and my driver's license, so need to hang on to that or I won't be going in. A um, bit of instruction from the organisers on, uh, uh, on the ceremony, uh, and you might be able to read this. No mobile telephones, at least during the service. So hopefully be able to use them outside that, uh, but be respectful of the service. Um, some um, uh, logistical information uh, there for the following day, that's the concert, and uh, this is the logistics information uh, for the day. The New Zealand High Commission uh, and the folks at M MFAT, the Mor uh, Ministry for Foreign Affairs and Trade, have been absolutely wonderful. Well, it's the day morning, early morning, of the coronation, Saturday the 6th uh, and uh, 6th of uh, May, and uh, I'm suited, I'm booted, and I'm ready to go. Here we are, the morning off, in the taxi. We're gonna try and get as close as we can to the action. <laughs> How are you all feeling? Excited. Very, very excited. Very excited. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, <laughs> off, three cut away, and two very beautiful yeah. women. <laughs> I was saying, um, I was on the tube yesterday and King Charles came over the, the speaker. Really? Yeah, yeah. And he finished with a mind like that. <laughs> So 
we've just got through security. The so camera's over here. We've got to look okay, okay. Right Thanks. inside of that, yeah. Thanks, we've got it. Not, yes. not the picture. Okay. <laughs> just got through. <laughs> <laughs> just got through security. I think we're in the gardens of Westminster by the looks yeah. of things. Yeah. Uh, and uh, milling around. Uh, quick loose stop over here. Security behind us here. And uh, next stop is the Abbey, where we've got a long way. So I think we've got like five hours sitting down. Sarah's brought her Eurofan just in case. <laughs> and, some, and some sweets to suck. And, and some sweets to. That, that's that's <laughs> Eurofan, isn't it? Yeah, 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 something yeah. like that. Okay, we're getting lots of questions, aren't we, Ben, on the uh, Kotawai? The yeah, traditional yeah. dress. Yeah. People yeah. are interested. I think a lot of them do assume New Zealand, but they're polite enough to ask. Well, that's, yeah, that's almost sensible, yeah. isn't it? Approaching the uh, back part of the Abbey here, just across the road from Palace of Westminster. You can hear some music, lots of security, as you would expect. Uh, after match comments? Um, um, very special. Very special. Yeah, very special. Moment in history. Yes, I got shivers when when he was crowned. Everyone said, God save the king. But like, I, like every hair on my body was standing on end. <laughs> and we were sta uh, sitting next to this little door here, which um, has been quite useful because it's actually the only loo, so you see a lot of people going through there. And they brought all of the, um, uh, I guess, coronation artefacts out through there. Both crowns, the, the ring, the, uh, uh, the bracelets, the, uh, the glove and, and so forth. So we saw it all come out literally uh, feet away, so that's pretty special. Uh, no footage of the coronation itself, out of respect. Um, phones down during that period, uh, but uh, it was a fantastic um, procession. The, the king and queen have just come, come past. Um, there's a few uh, still filtering out here, and I don't know if you can see. They're pretty well well hidden, but there are some screens up around the place, so we can actually see what's uh, what's going on. But really a uh, nice place and uh, lots of uh, interesting uh, lots of interesting people here. Yeah, Emma Thompson's just sitting over there, for example. Anton Deck are over the other side. Just come out the front. The bells are sign uh, sounding. Go. The guards are all lined up, and the world's media is over there. It's amazing, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, Sergeant Hayden Smith. I get that. The, uh, yep, that's right. Yeah, the rank right. Who was our uh, flag bearer right. at the cor coronation, the New Zealand <laughs> flag bearer? How was that? Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, I get to lead the Prime Minister and Governor General and Spouse into the Abbey. 
uh, which is just an awesome feeling. Representing the country, representing the New Zealand Defence Force um, on the world stage. Fantastic, and uh, it was quite a it's quite an early start for you, wasn't it? <laughs> was early, but um, we got out earlier than expected. So, you know, I got to go and uh, celebrate with the rest of the New Zealand delegation, which was amazing. Fantastic, and you can probably um, tell, uh, although I'm not a tall man. <laughs> uh, we were able to see Hayden very, very quickly um, as soon as he came in uh, Westminster and uh, Westminster Abbey and, uh, and and moved up the uh, the aisle. Uh, one of the one of the tall, even almost taller than the flag. That's the reason I got this job. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true, but you're very modest. Well, thank you for representing us. Well, we're out of the um, main Westminster Abbey area, the Westminster. Uh, Palace of Westminster is behind me, Parliament, uh, walking along the Thames, lovely. We're still in the secure area, but we're going for our um, transport. The uh, cars can't actually come into the area, so it's lightly raining. It wouldn't be a true British coronation without a bit of rain, uh, but it's not too bad. And uh, we haven't actually eaten for about five hours uh, or, or had any water. So, um, I think that's probably the order of the uh, the day next bit of lunch. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for joining me.